I miffed, so this is probably going to be a rant. Anyway, on the 13th of December last year, so 2020, I uploaded a mailbag featuring this Chinese MAX 31855K, K-type thermocouple to digital converter module. Yeah, card link. Turns out that module sports a fake MAX 31855K chip. Now, I wouldn't care about a fake chip on a cheap Chinese module. Uh, that's between Maxim and the Chinese. However, these fake Max 31855K chips do not work. And yeah, that's... That's... Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, putting me off. Uh, big time. I'm reading some detailed data, yeah, the complete 32-bit word that the chip delivers over the SPI bus here using Rob Tiller's MAX31855 library. I put a link in the description to the GitHub or, or whatever, but it's also available within Arduino's uh, library manager, so you can get it there. Uh, anyway, uh, the chip delivers you two temperature measurements, uh, the internal junction or chip temperature and the temperature of the attached thermocouple. And as you can see, the internal temperature, it's absolutely okay, 23 degrees C here currently. But yeah, the temperature of the attached thermocouple is obviously a mess. Reason being that the thermocouple temperature is encoded in the first 14 bits here. The very first bit, let me stop the auto scroll, the very first bit being the sign. So zero positive minus negative. Meaning, yeah, as you can see, the first four bits always stay the same. I'm scrolling again, so you have live data and I'm touching now the thermocouple. Yeah, nothing happens. Absolutely nothing happens to the first four bits or even first five bits. Yeah, uh, that's a problem with these fake chips. They simply <clears throat> seem to have hard-coded on error uh, the first bits. Uh, they are just one all the time. Now you see the markings on the chip very clearly here under the microscope. It's M31855K 2018A2 172AB and yeah, there's a small plus here and there's a pin 1 marker. I tried to find a nice picture of an original Max 31855K, but the only thing I could find was this product picture from SparkFun, where you can almost make out the markings. And if we arrange that side by side, yeah, with the red PCB, the original SparkFun, uh, at least <laughs> I'm assuming SparkFun is using original Maxim chips. And on the other side, on the blue PCB, the fake I bought, yeah. Um, it's very similar, but not quite the same, huh? Now, I'm not saying that each and every Chinese Max 31855K breakout board has a fake chip on it. Okay, but they are out there and it's a known problem. And I'm also not only miffed <laughs> at uh, whoever makes these things, I'm also a little bit miffed at myself because I could have known. If you Google for a <laughs> fake Max 31855, you get a lot of hits. Okay, so beware of fake. Max 31855K type thermocouple sensors. Fake chips, Max 31855. And here, soft, can't read data from Max 31855 with SPI, exactly what I experienced. 
this was a well-known fake chip issue. And why should I have checked beforehand? Well, the too good to be true principle. If I have bought these chips, yeah, uh, naked from my distributor, one or two, I would have to shell out about, yeah, five to six bucks per piece. So <laughs> buying a whole breakout board with the chip was cheaper. But even if I would have ordered a whole reel with 2,500 chips on it, I still had to pay, yeah, 260 per chip without tax. And now you look at AliExpress and Banggood and eBay and the likes uh, for the prices for these breakout boards. And yeah, you should get a little bit suspicious. Anyway, I will order now some original Max 31855Ks and yeah, replace the fake here on that breakout board because yeah, I've already finished everything for that breakout board here. And then I will continue to, <laughs> to do what I planned to do, namely making a little tutorial video about these Max 31855 chips. Until then, bye.